Welcome to the Guinness Draft Stout versus Guinness Foreign Extra Stout. Hey, SG Alcohol Guy here, making use of my Wines and Spirits certification to give you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. Well, I missed St. Patrick's Day last week. No idea how that happened. How can I not celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Nonetheless, because I have missed it, I have decided to make it up by doing a twin Guinness review. We're going to compare the Guinness Draft Stout versus the Guinness Foreign Extra Stout. Now, I once said that while this Draft Stout is really, really smooth, the Guinness Foreign Extra Stout punches me in the throat. So let's do a side-by-side -side review and see what's what. For the Guinness Draft Stout, uh, this is a 440 ml can with a 4.2% alcohol content. And I got this at $5.40. And for the Guinness Foreign Extra Stout, you can see it's actually slightly taller than the Draft Stout because this is a 500 ml can with a 5.5% alcohol content. Plus, I got this at $5. So a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, a little bit cheaper. Let's see. Let's start with the Guinness Draft Stout. Now, there are instructions. Uh, I don't have the proper Guinness glass. Uh, Guinness, if you're watching, Anyway, <laughs> there is a widget technology uh, used in this can. Upon opening, widget will activate and release nitrogen gas to produce micro bubbles and a dense foam. Allow two to three seconds to settle. The Guinness Master Brewer actually said to open it and leave it for five seconds. Then step one, suggested serving temperature, five degrees Celsius. I will speak faster. <laughs> Number two, Tilt the glass to 45 degrees and pour the beer along the side wall. Number three, turn the glass to the upright position before full and then fill to capacity. This is where actually you have to have the glass flat on the table as you fill up the rest. Number four, allow the beer to settle and enjoy. No such instructions for the Guinness Foreign Extra Stouts, but I'm just going to pour it the same way to maintain fairness. And as a comparison, I have prepared a glass of water where I will use a sip to cleanse my palate. Guinness Draft Stout first. So once you open the can, leave it for 5 seconds. It whistled at me. Uh, leave it for 5 seconds, although it's starting to bubble, so I might have shaken it a little bit too much. That's 5 seconds, I'm done waiting. Tilt the glass. 45 degrees and pour along the side wall. All right, oopsie. So the idea is to not rush it through, pour really, really slowly. It's dripping on the table simply because uh, of the effervescence at the start. Now, as you pour, I, actually, I just realized I should have measured the glass first. I'm not too sure if this is the, uh, I took the correct size glass. As it's almost full, straighten it, put the glass flat on the table, and finish pouring. I'm not the SG alcohol guy for nothing. Although the glass is to the brim. Second would be the Guinness Foreign Extra Stout. Leave it for five seconds as I enjoy the Guinness Draft Stout settling in the glass. Five seconds. Now again, it's a, a glass from another beer company. I've moved it to the side so you can't see the brand clearly. 45 degrees uh, angle and pour gently. Now, so let the beer slowly you know, settle down the side wall. And as it reaches the can, set the glass down, make sure it's flat, and pour the rest. I can only say that I'm very good at choosing the right glass because Perfect fit for both. Okay, so color-wise, this is a very black beer. It's it's dark. Uh, it's it's really a hint of black. Very 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 dark brown. But the foam is a lighter colored 
type of foam. Not as, as white as, as lager beers, but a very pleasant looking foam. This one, beer, same dark black, really, really dark brown, black color stout. Well, it is a stout, but the foam is a bit more brown compared to this one. So it really feels like it's going to be a heavier beer, just by looks. Taste test. Guinness draft style first. Mouth cleansing. And Guinness foreign extra stuff. So this one is the kind of stuff you drink when you want to have more than one. You feel that the first one is nice and smooth and you just need a second one and a third one. Guinness draft style, that's the one to go for. This one is, if it's a cold day, I think I said this in the previous video as well, I'm gonna say it again. If it's a cold day and you need something to warm you up, you need something strong to, to keep you awake, drink this one. This Guinness for an extra style is excellent for cold weathers. So while this started off as a comparison review, I will tell you that as long as you're getting a can of Guinness, it doesn't matter which can it is, they're both value for money. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please help me click on the like button. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. More importantly, drop me some comments. What do you think of the Guinness Draft Stout and the Guinness Foreign Extra Stout? Let me know. And as usual, Happy drinking.